Hello everyone, I'm Jake. This is my first 3D printer and I'm gonna show you that you can put it together and have something in your store to go out of market in just a couple days and I have no idea how to do this stuff. Let's get started. On today, I'm gonna unbox this Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon Combo 3D printer. So let's get to it. The filament that comes uh, with the AMS is down at the bottom of the box, so don't forget that. Right on top, we have the quick start guide for the printer. Now this top wasn't held down with anything, so be careful when you do that. There's a lot of foam up here, so let's go ahead and get that removed. This box we just pulled out. I'm gonna go ahead and look at it and see what we have, and maybe I need one of these tools right now. I think I do. Here's the screen for the front. It's like a bunch of uh, extra parts. Here we go. Here's the Allen wrench and probably, I'm pretty sure I need it right now. A glue stick, a power cord, some other cords. This is my first 3D printer, so I'm probably not gonna know what some of this stuff is. So we'll see what happens. Pretty sure I need this right now. The AMS is still inside here and everywhere that you're gonna see a little orange arrow, you need to take those out. So I'm just gonna take this one out and this one. That's all I can really see right now, so let's see if it comes out. There it goes. Set this one to the side. Once again, we're gonna get here and we're gonna see all these orange arrows. There's one back here that you may or may not be able to see. And this one, this one, this one, and this one, I'll go ahead and take those out. And it just comes right out. We got a pretty big desiccant bag right here to keep moisture out of things. We'll get that out of there. Here's one of the plates for it. We'll go ahead and put this out of here. It says glue stick for build plate. There's a glue stick that came in that box and all the things that I've seen said you need to use a glue stick on these things. So I'll go ahead and do that when we start. Before I get those out, I see two more orange arrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. So at this point I started reading some directions and it says to remove this cardboard and remove that foam out of the excess chute. I think the terminology that everybody uses is poop chute. So you're welcome. Okay. Now it says put the top on and it's glass. Ooh. We need, to, we need to put this on and it's no, in no way, shape or form set up yet, but I think it just wants it up there right now. We have these two cables we have. One's a four pin, that's four pin, and the one underneath here is four pin. So we're gonna plug that in. And the clip, this clip is gonna go towards the body of the 3D printer. There's that. These ones are six pins, and these pretty much look the same. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. This one also goes towards the body. We'll plug that in, and then we have this is what the filament's gonna go through and it plugs into here and make sure you get it in there all the way. I feel like that's that's good. This right here where your spool holder is gonna be and I just pulled this little bitty short bolt out of this one and we're gonna replace it with a longer bolt that comes with this. And this wrench is long enough to do this. You don't have to tighten this one up. We'll get the second one. Ha! Ah. Didn't tighten this up, not too tight. I don't think I'm gonna use this, but I want all the parts to be where I know where they're at. So there you go. This is gonna be for our front screen. We're gonna take this tape off. I'm gonna be nice to it. And here's our screen. You can tell your SD card's gonna go to the right and that's where this plugs in, so we'll go ahead. Click, click, I heard it go in. So now these will go into these and then you push it to the left. And that sounded pretty good. I went ahead and put the power cord in the back and plugged it in and then I know everybody likes this. And this. 
This is in the AMS. There's desiccant bags in here that are in bags. So I need to take that out, get this, take this out of this plastic bag and then put it back in. And there's one on that side also. After I was able to get the filament installed, I went ahead and got that glue stick that I talked about and I put one even coat all the way over that build plate. I then went to the file section on the machine and went through all these programs that are already on there. And I picked the Benchy with the E Benchy and hit go and it just went. And the first thing it starts to do it is it goes through this process where it purges material, it levels the bed, it goes through this whole process. It takes about six minutes. And every time you put a, a project in there, it's going to do this every time. So about right here, it started its first little practice layer of filament and at this point right here I was super excited because I was pretty confident that this was going to go well. So then it starts to uh, print the benchy. It does the first layer and now it's checking it right here to make sure it's good. And then it just starts going again and this is actually real time on here. It's not sped up or anything. It, that's how fast the thing goes. And it's just going to build it. It takes about 16 or 17 minutes for it to build this benchy. And then it goes ahead and it purges itself. It also respools the filament and gets ready for the next project. So now I'm going to show you is the time lapse that comes with this machine. This camera comes with this machine and it was a deciding factor on me purchasing this particular machine. And it is cool. So now you get done, you let it cool off. And then you pull it out of there and you do the little crack off thing like that. And then I am super excited to use this machine. I can't wait till we'll see what we make with it. This thing we had up and going in about 15 minutes and I had no idea what I'm doing. I have some friends that do 3D print, but I've never seen one in real life. And we went ahead and the first thing after 15 minutes of getting kind of familiar with this thing and turn it on. And then another 15 minutes later, 17 minutes, whatever, we have a Benchy with the E. It's Benchy. And then uh, it was fun, so I went ahead and I made the little scraper. And these files are already on there. You don't have to have the studio hooked up or the cloud or any of that stuff. You just go right there and do it. And then, so I was, we were on a roll. So we made the dinosaur, and it's right there on there. So then I got a hold of my friend. Joey Steelblade from Steelblade Woodworks, and he had made me one of these already before. It's a different color and a different quality, and we ended up making some silicone molds out of that, and they, they turn out great, but there you can see a bunch of lines on there and stuff. I'm not complaining, Joey, but thank you for doing that. So I got online with him, and we got on 3D Builder and was showing me how to do it by the time we got we got done with the lessons we had another one made and i went ahead and i poured silicone into this just taped up the seams and we have a product that's going to go out in just a few hours just a few hours this took uh three and a half hours to print uh it's 15 minutes to set this up i watched some videos and now um thank you once again joey but this stuff is ready to go on my website for sale and that was the whole purpose of this thing is to make things to prototype a lot easier and faster. I have other silicone molds where the form that I made out of HDP plastic is by the time I get done prototyping it, I have three or four hundred dollars in it. And this one, we have like four bucks. I'm amazed with this thing. I can't wait to do more with it. It, it unlocks your your um, your mind on the things that you can make with it. So. Go ahead and subscribe right here for more and uh, check out this video. We'll see you next time. Y'all be good.